What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Light here and I'm back with my 33rd weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Midas unique submachine gun. Since the Midas is based on the T821, here's some basic stats and weapon info for you on the T821. The country of origin is Italy. The rate of fire is 550 rounds per minute. The magazine size is 32 rounds. The fire type is full auto only and the reload speed is a short 2.20 seconds. The Sosimi Type 821 submachine gun entered service in 1984 and appears to be an exact copy of the Israeli Uzi, although the design features many differences and improvements over the original project. The T821 fires the 9x19mm Parabellum cartridge from a detachable 32 round box magazine and operates as a blowback firearm. The Midas unique version of this weapon is possibly named after King Midas from Greek mythology and was remembered for his ability to turn everything he touched into gold and would explain how the entire weapon is bright gold, more than a typical unique. The Midas is awarded as a random loot drop in any of the Dark Zones and as with every unique weapon in the division, it comes equipped with three perks that cannot be rolled. The first is Vicious, which increases your critical hit chance by 13% when at full health and has no requirements for firearms or stamina. The second is Responsive, which requires 2,362 in firearms and 1,417 in stamina and increases damage by 13% when you are closer than 10 meters to the target. The final talent is Self-Preserved, which requires 1,417 in firearms and 1,889 in stamina and allows your critical hits to heal you for 3% of the damage dealt. I'd like to add a quick side note. This footage was shot post-patch where the Midas was nerfed and the responsive perk replaced the trained perk, which allowed critical hits to further reduce cooldown times on your signature skill by landing crit hits. This allowed players to essentially activate signature skills with no cooldown and always stay under the effects of their skill. As you can see, this system was entirely broken and would not have mattered if this was strictly a PvE game, but it is not and you can now see where the PvP element would have been shattered and led to players calling the Midas OP. I reviewed the TA-21 back in review number 5 and liked the weapon for its laser-like accuracy and relative ease of handling and firing. The Midas handles identically and it is really an easy weapon to fire. Be wary of its slow fire rate of 550 rounds per minute as this is quite slow for the SMG class and it clashes with the responsive talent which increases damage but only at 10 meters and in. This will require you to engage in seriously close combat situations and this is where the slow rate of fire could lead to you taking too much damage to stay in combat for extended periods of time. The self-preserved talent is there as a crutch to try and heal you quickly but requires you to be spot on with your critical hits. I can see how the devs tried to program this weapon as a for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction type of weapon as being within 10 meters of your target allows you to do more damage but will expose you to more damage as well. But the self preserve talent is there to somewhat heal you back. My suggested mods would start with a high percentage extended mag and it is a must that it include the perk to increase your fire rate. Stability and accuracy are fairly good straight out of the box, so spending mods in this area could be a waste. I'm going to rate the Midas submachine gun a 4 out of 5 stars. As with the standard TA21 variant of this weapon, the handling and firing of this weapon are smooth and efficient, but the slow rate of fire and weak damage output mean you end up spending more ammo than necessary to drop your intended targets. It does have a decent frame and a strong DPS build could be possible, but you would need to heavily mod your gear pieces to max firearms while sacrificing too much survivability. Even with a full set of striker gear and a chest piece with Reckless, I still felt that I was not dropping level 30 NPCs fast enough. Oh what it must have been like to use the Midas back in its OP days. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. I will leave a link in the description below to my The Division Weapon Review playlist, and check back daily for my newest reviews. Remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs, and loved. This has been your boy Buzz, saying peace out. Like.